back to this final segment of the show for today. The topic is the Voting Rights Act of 1965, and we're talking to attorney Michael McDonald. Of course, attorney McDonald, before we had our second commercial break, we promised that we'd give you an opportunity to continue this excellent discussion uh, dealing with the uh, Voting Rights Act of uh, 1965. And I think one of the uh, issues that uh, we left off with uh, had to do with uh, the role that President Lyndon Johnson right. uh, played in that, uh, in not only in that event, but uh, the role that he played uh, in several other right. very, very important acts. Let's continue our discussion from uh, that perspective. Okay. Um, well, the other thing I guess would be relevant to discuss regarding the uh, Voting Rights Act of 1965 is the fact that it has been extended. The right. act passed in 1965 was extended again in, in 1970, was extended uh, again in 1975, and extended a third time in 1982. And each of those three extensions represented um, um, the intent of the Congress and the president at the, at the, uh, uh, at the time of each of the extensions to, uh, to broaden the uh, power and the authority mm -hmm. uh, of the uh, national government mm -hmm. over some area involving voting. Everything from extending uh, protection to Hispanic, Latino mm -hmm. Americans, mm -hmm. to uh, making sure that uh, there wasn't what we call gerrymandering, which is where you have, uh, have a, a political districts that are carved mm -hmm. out to benefit a particular officer or, or an incumbent or particular group, uh, that the act was extended to address those type issues. The act is also up for extension again in 2007. And in 2003 and 2004, there was an email that was that got a lot of circulation mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. basically uh, uh, represented that um, the Voting Rights Act of 1965, if it wasn't extended in 2007, mm -hmm. would uh, take away the rights of uh, blacks to vote. Um, that is not true. Speak to that because I think oh, well, that, that is one of the real yes. issues that yes. uh, we hear addressed uh, during this when you talk about the extension. Or right. The, or the, speak to that. Sure. That, and the, again, the, the email and the information as far as the act Mm -hmm. uh, not uh, being, if it's not extended, would bridge the rights of Negroes uh, to vote is, is not correct. First mm -hmm. of all, uh, the Congress has been consistent in terms of its commitment to extending the act. Uh, it's been a bipartisan commitment over 40, 45, 50 mm -hmm. years. Second, uh, even if the act were not extended, the rights that blacks have yeah. to vote is protected through the Constitution, mm -hmm. through the 15th, 15th Amendment. Amendment. Uh -huh. 15th Amendment. Yeah. Uh -huh. The purpose of the Act, the Voting Rights Act, was basically to give uh, the Congress and the federal government the authority to come in and to basically put teeth into mm -hmm. the 15th, 15th Amendment. Amendment. 15th Amendment. Mm -hmm. And then third and finally, um, most states have within their state constitution some amendment which protects the rights Mm -hmm. of, uh, of uh, blacks to vote. So mm -hmm. even if there were changes made at the congressional level, mm -hmm. uh, blacks, uh, along, with, along with other um, uh, Americans who have dual citizenship mm -hmm. as national citizens mm -hmm. of the federal government and then uh, the second citizenship within the state, the state that they reside, mm -hmm. would still have protection. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think it's important for uh, us to make sure that people understand that mm -hmm. even if the act is not extended, mm -hmm. the rights of blacks would still be mm -hmm. protected by the 15th Amendment. You know, one of the uh, real issues